Hi guys, I love nothing more than baking in the fall. I don't know what it is, but I'm ready to bake. It's kind of like, I guess a bear is ready to hibernate in the winter. I'm ready to bake in the fall. So today I wanna to share with you this really simple recipe that I found. I did not create this. I'm not the inventor of like a cheese Danish by any means. So I will leave the recipe that I found below and I'm just gonna share with you how I put it together. Um, I will say that I did uh, do half of what the ingredients called for just because I don't need to make that many of these. And I also made a variation of these danishes. I made just a regular one with cheese. Um, and I made some with cherry, which was a couple of weeks ago. And in this video, it's going to be a strawberry cheese danish. So I gathered all of my recipes, which you saw here. And again, I'll list all of them down below. And the very first thing that I want to do is preheat my oven to 325 degrees because my baking sheet is dark. If it's not dark, if it's lighter, then you could just bake it at 350. So I'm going to do um, about four ounces of cream cheese. And then I'm also going to add a splash of vanilla. And I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to take my hand mixer and I'm going to mix this all together. Hand mixers are fairly cheap, especially like the handheld ones at like Walmart or even on Amazon. So if you don't have one, but you love to bake, this is, this stuff is like really cheap and I don't have to have like a fancy mixer at all. Those like run like $200. Um, and this one has always served me so well and I've had it for at least 10 years. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to take this Pillsbury dough and I like the flaky kind, but here's a tip for you. Make sure that before you start this, you put your dough in the freezer for about 30 minutes so that it's easy to work with because I do slice it in half just because the dough is a little bit too thick. I did actually make um, two different renditions. Um, I left the dough intact and then some of them like you see here I did slice in half. I am taking a spice um, container that I have to make these circle indents because what you want is to have the outside layer to be puffy and you want the inside of the circle to be flat so that it will hold your cream cheese and, and whatever to topping that you add to it. So almost kind of like the outside creates a wall barrier so that the cheese and your topping doesn't like fall out. I do use my fingers, as you see here, to press down the center. I don't press down the sides. And then I'm going to add my cream cheese mixing. Now my daughter loves just the cheese part. She doesn't like the topping, so I do create some just for her. And um, But overall, I'm just adding cream cheese to every single one that I do because it tastes so delicious. And of course, how much you put in your Danish is strictly up to you. Now this is strawberry pie filling, and I actually only add this to half of the Danish. And of course, because I'm baking in the fall, I have to watch a fall movie. So what better than Hocus Pocus? I mean, amen, right? I will leave the baking time down below, but I pretty much eyeball it. As soon as I start to see that the bottom of the Pillsbury dough is kind of browning and getting golden, that's basically when I pop it out of the oven. So right now I'm making the drizzle mixture and it's basically just some powdered sugar and a splash of milk. Do not overdo the milk because I actually had to redo the recipe. Too much milk, it just kind of ruins it. And then I'm just gonna drizzle it and splash on some extra powdered sugar on top and this is it. That's how simple this is. And I do, I did make two different sets because I could only bake a certain amount at a time. Um, and I ended up making, I don't know, like eight or so in here, maybe 12. But I did make extra, like I said, for my daughter. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe for fall. Comment down below. Let me know what you do for cheese danishes. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.